Welcome back to Satisfactory, folks. I hope you're all having a great day. I know I am. I am playing Satisfactory. We are going to be unlocking a lot of milestones today. And we also are going to be doing a bit of uh, MAM work. Because I went out exploring a little bit, trying to find some Caterium, and I did. I also found some power slugs and some quartz. So let's start by unlocking a bit in the MAM here. So Caterium. Let's start that research. Pow. So, Ethereum research first. Added to the resource scanner. So now we can search for that, which is great because I want Blade Runners and I want them fast. Then we have Mycelia. Did I pick up Mycelia? Uh, I do have Mycelia. Uh, all right, Green Power Slug. Let's research you. Which is also awesome. And then we can do yellow shards. What's this? Slug scanning. Overclock production. Okay, overclock production, what does that take? I can actually do that right now. Uh, but that'll take five minutes. So let's start this research first. Alright. And then the yellow power shards takes three seconds. So let's grab our yellow slug here. So quartz gave us what? Uh, quartz crystals and silica. Yellow power shards, start that research. Kapow. And then we have purple. I don't know what this is. Ah, oh, that was like scanning. Do that too. Alright, cool. So I think that was everything. No, it's not. Uh, because I am missing the mycelia. Mycelia, I think they call it. Uh, Alright, start that research. Okay. That means we can make fabric. Cool. And whatever this is. We don't have any uh, pale berries, so can't do that yet. But all right, that is a lot of stuff done. Whoops, that was the wrong way. Okay, cool. Now, uh, I have been doing a bit of work. Let's just climb up in the tower here. And take a look. Uh, so I have set up a bit over there on our temporary uh, factory, our starter base, and uh, it looks a bit weird, but that's because I don't have uh, scaffolding or anything yet, so I need some way to get up top. Uh, also, I have uh, two machines making uh, screws here going into our one assembler here which is currently making uh, rotors I'm just f uh, manually feeding it with, with uh, rods and what I can do is I can just hook this container up to there switch this over to be a reinforced plate and then we're making reinforced plate instead we have a couple of machines making rods over there we have our concrete, we have our iron plate, of course, uh, uh, wire, cable, which is completely full, so is the iron plate. And we have, over here we have a container for uh, biomass to turn it into solid biofuel and stick it into a container as well. So that's what's going on. Okay, now let's go unlock some stuff. So the first thing we need is... Do I have 300 cable on me? I doubt it. Let's stick that in there. Okay. All good. So let's uh, start unlocking some milestones. 
Uh, there will be quite a few and it'll go quite fast. So uh, prepare yourselves. So three, two, one, let's go. Milestone reach. Right, that was a lot of unlocks. Let's have a look at what we actually did unlock. We unlocked coal power, of course. So coal generators, water extractors, pipelines, pipeline supports, junctions, pumps, fluid buffers, and a scanner update for coal. We up, uh, unlocked uh, vehicular, tr vehicular, that's hard to say, vehicular transport. For tractors and truck stations, not that we're going to be necessarily using them. The tractor is usual, useful for moving around. We unlocked uh, basic steel production, so foundry, steel and get steel beams, steel pipes, and versatile frameworks for the space elevator. We unlocked uh, logistics, Mark 2, conveyor belts, Mark 2, stackable conveyor poles, conveyor lifts, Mark 2. We unlocked the resource sync bonus program, the awesome sync and the awesome shop. We unlocked jump pads, uh, tilt jump pads, U jelly landing pads. We unlocked improved melee combat as well. So the Sino Basher with extra inventory slots and hand slots. So that is very, very nice. We got a lot of stuff done there, and we also got uh, analysis complete for overclock production. So very, very cool. Now, first things first, I think I want to go and find uh, some Caterium, because I want the, I want the blades. I want the blades! And where is their Caterium? Come on, oh, there, 500 and something meters this way. And so we can definitely go get that. But we might need some concrete and stuff uh, to get up wherever it is. So let's go grab that. And I'll be back when we are getting close to the Caterium. See you in a few. Right. I told you that I was going to come back for finding the uh, Caterium, but I got a little carried away. Sorry about that. So, yeah, uh, we found the Caterium. We have the Blade Runners now, which is awesome. And we also have a coal generator set up, started anyway. So there are 12 generators here. These six on this side haven't been hooked up yet, but the six over there have. And they are stealing coal from those two, but we're going to change that. So yeah, uh, and we have pipes coming down here. We have the water over there. We, yeah, we have quite a lot of stuff. So let me just quickly show you here. So if we run over to the water, we have three water extractors here and basically none of them are really going but if we take a look at them wow okay let's try that again let's go up come on we want out of the water swimming is so slow but i guess that makes sense So if we take a look at one of these uh, water extractors, they have a production rate of 120 cubic meters per minute. So that's actually not enough. Hmm, because these have a flow rate of 300 cubic meters a minute. So these three would do 360. So, hmm. Right, so I need to figure that setup out, but it's kind of funny because oh, they don't have a throw flow 
uh, flow rate, but they are full. So why it's full and our power generators over here, our coal generators, they need 45 cubic meters a minute. But I guess it's because they're not running at full speed that they are not using it all. So we, we need to change the pipe setup a little bit, but that's okay. Well, we need to, to change it over there because six of these will take, what, 90, 180, 270 uh, cubic meters of water a minute, right? Yeah, 270 cubic meters of water a minute if they are running full speed. Am I reading this right? Yeah. So they need actually this one full pipe of water and then there's uh, 30 cubic, me cubic meters uh, left over, which is fine. So we just need more water extractors uh, for this because, yeah. So we, we're going to need, because I want four of these six coal generator setups, but we'll start with two. So that means that we need another two water generators. So that's 360, that'll then be 480, then it'll, it'll be 600. So five of those will in fact supply two of the uh, six, 12 of these. Okay, that that's okay. We can we can work with that. We can work with that. But once we have these twelve up and running, we'll have nine hundred megawatts of power, and that is going to be enough uh, for now, at least. Uh, let's just take a look here. So let's just take a look at one of these. So you can produce up to seventy-five megawatts of power. So that's four hundred and fifty per set of six coal generators making a total of 900 for this setup and then we'll have another setup over here with the same giving us a total of 1800 megawatts but for starters we'll do 900 for starters we'll do 900 now these take four seconds to use one Coal. So that means that that's 15 coal a minute per times 6, that's 90. And right now we're doing 120 here, but what we're going to do is we're just going to overclock uh, this so that it goes up to uh, 90 a minute and then we can actually take this guy off well not that and he will will do the same with this guy and uh, 90 a minute that's 100 and uh, well 90 parts per minute that's another set of six. And we have two more cool nodes over here giving us what we need for the other two sets. So yeah, I got a little bit carried away. I'm sorry about that, but it happens in the in, in these types of games. You get carried away, you start doing something, and then you forget, hey, I was, I was going to record this. Uh, or I was going to be back before I even got over here. But you just get carried away, and <laughs> it is what it is. I hope you can live with it. But yeah, so I'll get uh, the other coal uh, 
line here set up and fix the water extractors and then I'll be back. Right, so I got a little bit carried away again and I actually built the other two arrays of refineries so now we have 1800 megawatts of power and right now we're using like less than a less than a hundred let's just say less than a hundred but actually running these when there is full production will cost us around 220 power something like that the water extractors they will cost us 15 apiece because normally they cost 20 but we are underclocking whoops didn't mean to jump in the water there it wasn't a ah crap come on there well done well done there so we've underclocked them to I actually set it to 100 uh, cubic meters per minute but 99.6 is fine so 15 megawatts a piece so that's 12 of those at 15 megawatts a piece which is 180 and then we have our four miners which we have overclocked by using our uh, power slugs and these are using around 10 megawatts a piece so that turns into 220 or thereabouts thereabouts but that still leaves us around 1600 1500 and 1540, 1580 megawatts a piece uh, of power to work with in our starter base, which should be more than enough for a little while. So that is awesome. That is awesome. So I also went ahead and did a little bit of exploration. So we have a couple of hard drives here. We have some green power slugs and we have some yellow power slugs. And if we just quickly run back to base, just to show you where our power setup is in relation to the base, I'll just run it this one time. And there's really nothing dangerous on the way except a drop which I will accept taking some damage from so yeah let's just quickly run over there so basically with all that power we have put ourselves in a position where we can start building our real starter base not the spaghetti starter base that we have going now down there so yeah a little bit of damage that's fine there's barrel nuts everywhere to pick that up so don't really care about that so yeah we have our spaghetti starter base here but now we're going to start working on our real starter base which is over there with all the foundations that you can see but yeah mm. so that is basically the route from the power plant to our starter area and I oh I also built the awesome shop and there is a lot of stuff that I want there uh, I want all these con these walls of course I want all of these attachments 
well, I, I want everything, but my priority is the walls, really, and and then the attachments, I think, uh, and then the foundations. This one, though cool, is not a priority. The organization stuff, the walkways are very, very high on my priority list. Statues will come later. Equipment, not really that important. But I actually already analyzed one hard drives and we have two more. So I analyzed one and we have another two to go. So let's see, what do we have for recipes? We want all of them, of course, but what do we have here? Also, the proof can find concrete. Standard is 15 per minute, but only requires limestone. This one requires silica as well. While cool, I don't think that's something that we can do right now. That's water and copper to create a lot more copper ore. So that might be interesting. That might be very interesting. Copper sheets and a lot of screws to create rotors. So I think I'll take this one. I think I'll take this one for now. Go ahead. And we'll stick a new hard drive in there and start scanning. That'll take 10 minutes. All right. So now that we have our power setup, uh, initial power setup at least, uh, completed, we're going to start working on getting a real starter base with decent production of all the basic items that we need for uh, for building mm -hmm. set up and I have set up a lot of containers over here I think I already showed you that but I'm not sure but I have a lot of containers set up here I'm not sure if that's the right amount or not but we'll kind of build above this build upwards and get everything funneled down here into containers where we can just pick what we need and that'll be fine and dandy so yeah that is gonna be it for this satisfactory episode guys so i hope you enjoyed it if you did why not leave a like and subscribe and i'll see you next time